Hi Leo, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So this is your advice reading for the week commencing, um, 26th of June to the 2nd of July 2017. Universe Brew, what is the advice that you have? What is the advice that you have for Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs for the week commencing 26th of June 2017. What is the advice that you have for Leo? Show me the advice that you have for Leo for the week commencing 26th of June 2000. Whoopsie daisy. 26th of June 2017 to the 2nd of July 2017. What is the advice? Show me. Okay, so your advice is the Eight of Swords. And the way that I would read the advice being the Eight of Swords, I mean, it could be if we were to look at a situation, maybe, that there are limitations here that some of you guys might be facing. But you can get out of them. That's the whole point of the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords says there's advice, yeah, you might think that there's a situation that's limitation. You might have some mental limitations on the situation. You might not even be able to see clearly, because this is the card of not seeing clearly. Sometimes this is a card about mental fears that hold us back. Sometimes this is the card about other people's words that hold us back here. But you can remove yourself from a situation. So the advice, I think, for the week commencing 26th of June, uh, Leo, is that you can remove yourself from a situation if you so wish your feet are free. You might feel that your hands are tied and you might feel that because your hands are tied, you can't see quite clearly with the... Um, with the uh, um, with the cloth being around her face, her eyes, but you can, you've still got your legs. And really this is about being fearless because she's afraid to move, I feel, because there are swords around her and she's worried about probably impaling herself or doing herself an injury. But it's really talking about blind faith and that sometimes we need to just go and move forward in blind faith. So I think that this is really about trust when I look at this card. And I think the advice is just to trust in a situation Trust in your intuition. Trust that your intuition is going to take you where you need to go. And also trust with the Eight of Swords that God, Universe, Source, whatever you look at for your inspiration is really guiding you. And you need to trust in that and just move forward, even if you feel that you can't. What's the reason for that, though? Might be that there is um, Aries, sorry, Leo. Well, this is you, because Leo is King of Wands. So it could be you. Well, that's interesting, because they're good. They're two good cards, King of Wands and Six of Wands. Could be with a person, could be with yourself, you'll have victory. All right, this is really good. It's saying, you know, feel the fear and do it anyway, which is really what the Eight of Swords is. You know, this person feels that there are restrictions around them, mental, external, because their hands are tied on the situation. They feel that they are bound to a situation that they can't get out of. But this is really saying that you're blind to the possibilities because your eyes are covered, because your hands are bound, you feel that, you know, we need our hands to touch, to feel, and we need our eyes to see, but we also need our feet to walk, and it's telling you, but you do have a solution here, and that's the feet, you can walk, you can remove yourself, you have one way that you can deal with the situation with the outer swords, and that is to remove yourself from the fear, so this is about going in blind faith, because it could be that Leo, King of Wands, which is a Leo, will have victory, Six of Wands in a situation, could be with a person, a King of Wands, you'll have victory. It's funny, because wherever the King of Wands looks into his intent, he has an intention for, all right? So it could be with this King of Wands, is you guys looking into the situation. You can see exactly what needs to be done, and it's telling you to do that with the Six of Wands, to make that approach. Also, the King of Wands represents a spiritual elder and somebody who has great spiritual knowledge. So really, this is saying, let your faith help you to move through this situation because you could have victory you know you could literally have victory in this situation whatever this situation is for you i feel that you need to be fearless as the king of wands is he looks into the situation and he says this is what needs to be done so he knows exactly what needs to be done here and he knows it's going to lead to this and i'm reading this as you guys here could be that there is an individual around you if this isn't you leo it could be that there is a fellow fire sign or somebody who has an amount of arrogance because king of wands can also be somebody who's quite arrogant because he's got the six of wands as well and six of wands can be somebody who um has followers behind him this person can be quite arrogant they can they know that they sit head and shoulders above everything and everyone else and it might be saying with the eight of swords well if you feel kind of restrictions or limitations around such a person male or female because they are like this okay uh 
you can remove yourself from the situation. The advice really is to go fearlessly. Go act on blind faith. Don't be afraid with the Eight of Swords. You can release yourself from the swords, from the mental barrier, from the limitations that you, you're thinking that there are. Some of you guys, it will be because you will have success. For some of you guys, it could be with a person you'll have success. And for some of you guys, if you want to release yourself from the situation, it might be because there is somebody around you who seems to be quite arrogant. Well, no, you're venturing towards new love for some of you guys. So it could be, release the limitations, Leo, because it could be, Leo will have success with new love or a new venture. Or it could be release yourself from your self-limiting ideas, which is what the Eight of Swords is also. Because with a fellow fire sign or with a person of um, value, somebody who's quite spiritual, somebody who's quite passionate, it might be that you have victory in a new relationship. They're coming towards you. When you get the Six of Wands, this is about having success. The Ace of Cups, because they're facing each other, it's instantaneous success within a new relationship. So for some of you guys, it might be that there's a new relationship. Some of you guys, it might be that you're afraid to fall in love, and it's telling you, you know, these are just your limitations that you're placing on yourself. If you let go of the advice, is to let go of whatever limitations you have, Leo, okay? Could be a person around you that you'll have success in new love. Could be a person who wants to approach you about a new relationship here. So let go of those self-limiting thoughts because a person could want to approach you about a new relationship. All right? Could be with a person, they'll be successful with a new relationship. Okay? Could be that you will be successful, okay, in something new. Ace of Cups doesn't just mean new love. It also means just fresh starts, okay? You're approaching healing as well because this is the card of healing. Okay? Whatever the situation is for you, you can read this in a mod. It's a beautiful reading. Let go. Let go of any self-limiting thoughts. Let go of the change, the the uh, the um, uh, let go of the things that you've you know uh, impeached on yourself, the things that you've, you allow to hold you back, Leo. Because it could be that next week is going to be really good for you if you allow yourself to do that. All right, that is your advice card. Your advice reading for the week commencing sixth of June, two thousand and seventeen. Um, 26th of June, sorry, 2017, up until the 2nd of July, 2017. And I'll see you guys on your triple cross reading. Take care.